And as they can't afford Tottenham and Liverpool to get away from them. If Liverpool got a result today, they're actually joining Chelsea and Manchester United now in terms of challenge. It looks like it's going to be a back three for the home side. Nathan Ake coming in in one of three changes to the side that started at Brighton on New Year's Day. In the heart of midfield, Dan Gosling is preferred to Harry Arter alongside Lewis Cook. Having recovered from a hamstring injury and had a run out in the cup, Ryan Fraser back in a pacey front three, spearheaded today by Callum Wilson, who has two goals in his last three Premier League games. No junior Stanislas or Josh King, neither fit enough to play a part today. It's been another bruising week for Arsene Wenger, although Arsenal do come into this following a solid enough first leg performance in the Carabao Cup. No Alexis Sanchez here today, though. Pedicek is back in goal after sitting out both cup games. That is the only change from the side that started at Stamford Bridge on Wednesday. A back three again, then back-to-back -back Premier League starts for Rob Holding for the first time this season. Jack Wilshire fit to start after he limped off midweek with that ankle problem back at the club where he spent last season on loan. In the absence of Alexis Sanchez and Mesut Ozil, Alex Iwobi and Danny Welbeck line up in support of Alexandra Lacazette, who is now without a goal in his last seven Premier League games. And a plus for the Gunners, Aaron Ramsey, who hasn't played at all in just over a month, is back on their bench today. Leila Niles. Twisting, turning, shooting, and glancing it off the crossbar. Arsenal making ground down the right-hand side after good work, but he can't even though you're not feeling full of it. Will Shatt getting his reward for carrying on his run. And Wenchel helping Arsenal sweep forward. That might come through to Danny Welbeck, saved by Begovic. Francis might be lucky, I'm not sure he wasn't pulling back on Danny Welbeck there as well. Corner, again down that channel, so much space. Okay, getting pulled in. Bournemouth down there right, putting it into a good area as well. Fraser, check to the rescue for Arsenal. Fairly awkward encounters in the FA Cup last weekend. Here comes Hector Bellerin now for Arsenal. Through one-on-one, -on -one, saved by Begovic. Or is it? He's done it against Bournemouth here at Dean Court. Well, I said it in the first half. That right-hand side of Arsenal is where... He did his best, Begovic, but he couldn't keep it out. And Hector Bellerin draws first blood here. He scored against Chelsea last time out. Bellerin, Iwobi had got behind Charlie Daniels. This time it is Bellerin that makes the run, and Daniels... Picking him up for a second. Fraser, delightful for Wilson! Callum Wilson doesn't need a partner. His natural goal-scoring instincts take over here. Well, there you go. What on earth do I know? Pedicek, as a goalkeeper, you either stay or you go. He decided to go. Callum Wilson finding space in the box. Mousse! Jordan Ard comes up to it. Moments after the Arsenal substitution. Defensively, they're in a shambles. And Jordan Ard, Bournemouth have come from behind to turn this one on its head. Grabs his first Bournemouth Premier League goal. Well, I don't think Arsenal recovered from conceding that first.